I'm Jordan Cunny and I'm off court with Mikey Singleton. Mikey, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. That's good. What's life like? Chilling. Just been in the gym hooping. Same old, same old. So, what's, what school do you attend and what grade are you in? I attend Wilbur Cross. I'm in the 11th grade. Do you have any hobbies nobody really knows about? Uh, nah, not really. Uh, yeah, nah, not really. All no. I do is hoop. Just a hoop? <laughs> Just okay. hoop. Uh, now, tell me about the hooping. When did you start hooping? I started playing ball, like, around, like, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah, I, but I, I didn't really start taking it serious until, like, I got to my eighth grade, ninth grade year. Yeah. How did you get into the basketball? I basically said my father. Father. Yeah, he helped me with that. He, did he, like, put the ball in your hand, started taking you to games, or was it? Yeah, he started working me out young. Okay. Was he an athlete? Nah. Nah. Did you play any other sports? Nah, basketball was the only thing I tried out. I played, like, flag football when flag I was football? little, but, yeah. What's flag football like? Uh, well, they told me it was get the ball and just run. Oh, so you were, like, fast? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who are your favorite artists? Like, uh, probably Lil Baby. Lil Baby? Why Lil Baby? Because his sound tough. Sound tough? <laughs> yeah. Not enough? Like his sound, like uh-huh. the way he rock. You be me. relating to him or is it just Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. In what way is it? Because sometimes when you talk about money and basketball, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, uh, Now, what else do you like about him? Like, besides the music, like, is there anything nah, about his personality? What really got me on the little, like, Lil Baby was, like, his documentary. His documentary? Just, yeah, like. What, what was in the documentary? It was, like... <clears throat> He came from, like, he basically came from none, and he, like, built his way up, and look at him right now. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. feel like you could, like, relate to that or yeah, the motivation? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, like, more on the motivation, motivation. side. Motivation, like, what way does it motivate you? Just, like, to keep going like, basketball? Yeah, yeah, just, like, keep going, because if he could do it, I could do it. Okay. That's how, I, like, I keep a mindset like that. Now, let's say somebody don't like Lil Baby. They're not really a fan of him. Like, what, what would you say to them, like? You a hater, man. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta stop hating. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. It's like, it like he got something for everybody, so it's, it's kind of hard yeah, not like, to like Lil Yeah, Baby. feel me? Yeah, because he like a radio artist, too. You feel he me? can sing yeah. and all that. Yeah. I could agree with that. You definitely hating if you don't like Lil <laughs> Baby. <laughs> now, you into the fashion? Yeah, definitely. Okay, what, what kind of outfits you putting on? Because usually when I be seeing you, it be like at pickup games or you yeah. balling, so you got on the sweats or like a basketball tire. So what but you like, throwing on? Like... Feel me? If I want to get crazy fly, I throw on some purple jeans. Purple jeans, okay. Purple jeans, Supreme, Supreme. Eric Emanuel, okay. stuff in that nature. Oh, uh, now let's talk about this jacket. The jacket the a little jacket. flashy. What's that? What's that? <laughs> nah, it, really, it's just a ho- this hoodie my classmate put me onto in okay, class. Nah. I don't even know the name, but. Was it expensive yeah. or? Nah, it was like $80. Something a little expensive, man. <laughs> you must be up a little <laughs> Trying. Now, man. what about the beanie? That's Supreme? Yeah, Supreme beanie. You got that yourself? Yeah. How much do those be going for? Like, retail, like 50, but like, when like the resellers buy it, it'll probably go for like, they probably tax you like 150, 200. Yeah. What type of designer you throwing on? Because you seem like you got some designer or. Uh, my best designer I got at the curb is off white. Off white? With yeah. the shoes or? Yeah, the shoes. shoes? Yeah, the shoes. Like. Uh, they're like they're an off white shoe, like they're yeah. not no off white Jordan. I don't know the kind though. That was like four hundred, and <laughs> wait, what? nah, but nah, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I bought it. <laughs> oh, my dad. Okay, dad, yeah. you know, was it because of the grades? Yeah, oh, for just, me, okay. Yeah. My right. birthday. Yeah. yeah. Are you a sneakerhead? Kind of. Okay. What kind of sneakers you throwing on like a regular chill day? Under UAs. UAs. What's that? Yeah. Under Armour. Under Armour. Oh, word? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you chilling like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no Jordans? Nah, I was in the, like, I'm still in the Jordans, but yeah. not how I was when I was a kid. Yeah. Cause, cause, uh, um, are the Under Armour more comfortable? Cause yeah, feel me? Like, just wear Under Armours. You could just stay down yeah. and get yeah. flying Under Armour. You rocking yeah. the Currys? Because right here went Under Armour? Yeah. Yeah, you got Like for cur- basketball, yeah. For yeah, basketball. basketball. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, what type of shoes you throwing on on the court? Like the ball in or even to train? Uh, straight Under Armour. Straight Under yeah, Armour? literally. Everything? Yeah, I got some Under Armour in my bag. <laughs> literally. What, what about Under Armour grabbed your attention? I don't know. It's like when I was in the eighth grade, I used to wear these um Curry, these Curry Sixes, yeah. and no one had Under Armour. Like, I was the only one put on the Under Armour. Nah, yeah, I had yeah. some Curry. What? Bro, somebody stole my Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. not lying, bro. Like, this is a nah. little bit. And feel me, they had the jumpy house, so I took my curries off. 
I came out the bouncy house and my curries was gone. That was my last time ever rocking Under Armour. Like, yeah, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so um, on a scale to one to ten, how funny would you say you are? On a scale, like if you really know me, like my friends, like I'm probably a ten, probably the funniest of the group. Like, yeah, oh my. okay. What always is- got a smile on my face, always cracking jokes and stuff. Nah, yeah, Eric was <laughs> telling me. <laughs> He was telling you to like, you feel me, like really chill out before the interview. Is it that funny? Is that funny? Yeah. yeah, all right. Um, where did your sense of humor come from? Uh, like, what you mean by that? Like, like, like the funniest is it from dad oh. or is it something that just happened? Something that just happened, basically. Cause yeah. I like when I was a kid, I I never took nothing seriously. Yeah. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. <laughs> I laughed at everything. Were you I like, was cracking jokes in class and stuff. Were you ever like a uh, class clown? Or, yeah, I definitely was. I know you got a story about a class clown. You ever got in trouble trying to be class clown? Definitely. By Pops? Yeah, Mom like? Dukes came in. <laughs> oh, my dude. Yeah, got crazy. Nah, yeah, that happened Never to was me a class before. clown. Yeah. yeah, my dad, they called my dad. He came ASAP, but if I call him, it would take a little minute. Yeah. The teacher called my dad. He pulled up. <laughs> but he made me apologize to the class. I've yeah. been good ever since. This might sound a little weird, but it's different. But when you on YouTube, what are you searching up? Uh, when I'm on YouTube, basically I'm just listening to music or watching basketball. Not gonna basketball. lie, yeah, I watch a lot of basketball or flight reacts. You know flight that is, yeah, I know <laughs> about flight. Brody too funny yeah, too. Yeah, now, I be um, tuned in. What type of basketball videos are you watching? Uh, probably mine's because I watch a lot of film on myself. Or okay. if not, uh, probably like some like one of the top players will pop up like their games, and I just watch that mm-hmm. in class or something. Oh, you get, so you got mixtapes or something? Yeah, me, yeah, I definitely, yeah. yeah. How much you be paying for the mixtapes? Nah, I don't pay. Oh, you don't pay? Nah. What you got? I oh. used to pay like when I was in eighth grade, uh-huh. but now for me, yeah, I don't pay. They just come to the games and like, yeah. yo. They cool, they're my guys. Often oh, cool. Like, my guy, um, Shamar, they call him Marque. I then, think I know who you yeah. talking about. I think we follow him on Game Point. I don't yeah. know. I might follow him on my And then my other account. boy that began me, right, his name Oscar. Oscar. He go to my school, yeah, cool okay. guy. Okay. When you up there searching for music, what are you looking up besides little baby? Uh, OT7 Kwani. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, I can give it that. I can give it, bro. You know I, mean? I listen to him too. Yeah. Now, I listen um, a lot of stuff. Like, yeah, now like it that. is. Yeah. You like Philly rappers? Definitely. You like them like more than Chicago artists? Is? Yeah. How come? Cause they just like they really get me in that mood. Nah, like, y'all ain't too on. I crank it up for the yeah, car. Like, the midnight club. He yeah. got the, okay, okay. Then he got this. He got mad. Wanna write a book? Yeah, yeah. wanna write a book? Yeah. Nah, he got mad bangers, bro. But um, when are you the most happy? Uh, I'll probably say the most happy. Uh, it's a good question. Probably like. Like when I win games and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think those? Ha- yeah, like, um, cause probably just seeing my mom, seeing my grandma, stuff like that. I'm always happy to see them. Yeah. Yeah. Why does that make you happy? Cause it's a blessing to like to be having your grandma living and stuff. Yeah. And I like, I cherish stuff like that. Yeah. Now what about the winning games? Nah, I know like, it's not like an obvious question, yeah. but why do you feel so happy when you win a game that's something deeper? Because it's or? like, yeah, it's like, especially when you want to really beat the team, mm-hmm. like when the team was talking like, oh, we're going to beat y'all, da, 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 this, and then you really beat them, mm-hmm. it's a good feeling. Now, what's your mental like when you got a bad game? In my head, I just think like, for me, just keep shooting, keep playing, because it's going for, it's going to have to fall, like, mm-hmm. for me, you can't like, pull yourself down, because if you pull yourself down, you just yeah. feel me, you're going to end the game bad. Yeah, no, definitely. Now, what about the end of the game? Like, it's a bad night, y'all lost. What, what are you telling yourself? Literally, all I think, when I get home, I got to get in the gym. <laughs> I got to get, get in the gym. gym. Like, yeah. okay, what's the gym looking like, your schedule, when you go to the gym? Is it the morning? Uh, what kind like, of drills you doing? When it's school, mm-hmm. when it's school, I'll go right after school every single day. Yeah. And I'll do like a two-hour basketball and then a two-hour weightlift. Okay. But if it's no school, I'm always there at six in the morning. Six in the morning? Yeah. Dang, what's that like waking up six in the morning? Is it nothing? Is it yeah, you it's, it, force yourself it's just like, bed? it's just like some stuff you got to do if you like, feel me? Because like, I'm really trying to have a good senior year because feel me, I'm a junior. Mm-hmm. So stuff like that, I just really put my mind to and I, I just really got to do it. Okay. Now if what I want to reach my goals. Yeah. Now what would a good senior year look like for you? Me, I like points. Like oh, oh, like oh, just overall. School, I'm everything. just trying to like, uh, oh yeah, good senior year. I'm just trying to come off with like an offer from mm-hmm. a college. Okay, I'm trying to go to college for free. Oh, college for free. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the college. Um, you got any like ideas where you want to go? 
Nah, not really. Probably some like I'll go to Southern because that's Southern. only like that's a D two in New Haven. Okay. University of New Haven. Okay. Yeah. Now, so you plan to continue your athletic career? Yeah. Now, how are you gonna keep up with that? Staying in the gym. Staying in the St- gym. Stay working. Just keep that mindset. Nah, it's more than a gym. It's a mental game too. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, eat yeah. right. So, how you gonna keep up with the mental? Uh, with the mental, just like with my mental now, all I think about is like, I've. Damn. All I Not think about is, like, um, what's this called? Like, I've been playing basketball since I was little. Yeah. And that's always been my goal to reach to the next level. Mm-hmm. So that's why I just, that's all I keep on my mind, for yeah. real. And that's what pushed me to just keep going. Now, um, do you know what you want to major in when you get to college? Nah, not yet. I was thinking, like, sports broadcasting, probably. But, yeah. Why that? Nah, not yet. I don't know. I just saw I seen, like, feel me? What, you, what did you see that made you like, I might like have Like ESPN? Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So you feel like you could do that? Yeah, definitely. You like, do you like all types of sports or do you just having that microphone? Yeah, nah. I mess with football, uh, soccer. Yeah, okay. Soccer because my guy VT. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he play um, baseball. I definitely mess with baseball. Yeah. You got yeah. like a least favorite sport that you like would not want to talk about? Uh I can't say hockey because my boy P. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably like swimming. Swimming? Yeah. <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> you say yeah. you can't swim? Yeah, I can't no, swim. I, can't swim <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing. Yeah, like, yeah, oh. Feel me? I, I be trying. Yeah, you be trying? Yeah. Do you ever go to like swim classes? When I was young, now I just like yeah. just hop in the pool and chill. Okay. Now, if I was like a... <laughs> A college scout, what should I know about your work ethic? That like I'm always in like I'm always in the gym no matter what, going hundred percent. And like feel me, I don't slack when it comes to drills or stuff like that. Yeah, now we know you're honorable. Talk to me a little bit about school, cause if I was a scout, I don't know nothing. Oh about yeah, school. oh yeah, about school. Yeah, basically I always stay in class, always get my work done. First one in class, paying attention, asking questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, um, do you think social media is a good thing or a bad thing? It depends. Like, for an athlete, I think it's a good thing because it could get your name out there. Like, mm-hmm. Instagram, Twitter. It's a lot of college coaches on Twitter. So you could post your stuff, like, yeah. get your name out, feel me? Do you ever feel like it's a bad thing? Uh, Only when it could, like, it could be a bad thing because it could spread rumors, mm-hmm. spread false things. But, yeah. Does social media ever, like, affect you in any way? Nah. Okay. Well, nah. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it do. Because when Hill House beat us and they, like, recorded a little video, <laughs> like, feel me? Yeah. That touched me a little bit. <laughs> that, that hurt you? Well, feel me? Yeah, it's all love. Okay. What did that yeah. do to you, though, when you saw that? Like, did it's that like, make you go harder? Yeah, it's like, next year, killing yeah. them. You all set boogie. Yeah. All set all boogie. Set. Okay. Um, if money was not an object, it was no problem. What would you do all day? If money was not an object? Mm-hmm. T- I don't even know. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if money was not an object, probably hang with my friends. <laughs> like, well, what yeah, would y'all like, do, though? Because you got money. Like, you, man, you go to church. Yeah, you go anywhere. Go to, like, like, you do anything. What would you do? You just got to make our own fun. Uh-huh. Play basketball. Uh, play the game. Do you think money would change you anyway? Nah. Nah? Why nah, not? Money would never change me. Because money not everything in this world. Okay. Like, that's just, like, a small per- portion of it. Yeah, okay. Like, for me, yeah, it's not everything. Nah, do you I, think, like... What was you saying? Nah, I was saying, like, I see, I've seen money change a lot of people, mm-hmm. not going to lie. Now, if you could go back in time and change something, what would you change? Uh, I'd definitely change probably. Mm. Could be anything. It could be yeah, like a world like, event. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you're going to lie. That's a good. Nah, I'd definitely probably change my mindset when I was younger. Because okay. if I had the mindset. I, like, if I had it when I was younger, if I had it right now, I will definitely, like, i will definitely be farther than where I'm at. Okay. What kind of mindset do you have now? Right now, it's just, like, straight basketball. When I was younger, I didn't really, like, I played basketball, but I wasn't really consistently in the gym crazy and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, what else, though? Because it got to be more than basketball. Something that's keeping you with basketball. Is it, like, your discipline, anything? Like, my dad. Basically, dad. yeah. What's your relationship like with dad? Smart guy. It's like, 
This is how I mess with him a lot. I love him to death. Love like, him to me. death? He did everything for me. Okay. Is he ever, like, on your heels about basketball? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Does that, uh... But, nah, not really, because he said, like, he's not going to waste my time, mm-hmm. and he don't want me to waste his time That's on true. some stuff. So, like, feel me? How, how did you take that when he said that? What does that mean to you? All I could do was just respect it, because, like, if I was a father, too, I wouldn't want my... If my kid didn't want to hoop, I was like, he, he didn't have to hoop. Mm-hmm. So he's basically like, yo, he wants you to do what you want to do. Yeah, like, it's up to me. Like, he'll still love me no matter what. Okay, that's a good dad. Well, Mikey, I want to thank you for this interview. It was a great interview, man.